Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The old queen sings in full vigor, walking up to her king's bed. Uh, do you want to kill me? My heart actually stopped. For a few seconds there. Hell, if I'm going to let you die before I do. Happy birthday, darling. Mwah. Is it a year already? Yep. I'm here with you, aren't I? And I made you your favorite charkara paisam. Yum, yum. This is a story from the heart of a dense forest in Kerala. About the most beloved royal couple that ruled the kingdom of Pachakkar. One amazing day, flushed, after making sweet, sweet love, they lay in a glade by a lake. He stirred as he heard a splish splash. Careful not to awake his queen, he looked around. Who would dare disturb the royal couple? She appeared as if out of nowhere. Gorgeous. Voluptuous. He froze with his mouth open as she bobbed up and down as gracefully as a swan. She silently giggled, her teeth sparkling in the noonlight cascading between the dense foliage. Pinching his arm in disbelief, Ouch! What? What happened? The queen woke with a start. Uh, I thought I saw someone in the lake. That's impossible. You know that nobody can enter the glade. You must be dreaming. Unless it was the evil nymph of the lake that Kashindi uncle used to talk about. Beware the nymph of the Pachakara lake. I'm the only human who has ever seen her and lived to tell the tale. Stop it. <laughs> you really sound like him. Back at the palace, he lay awake, intrigued. The next day, he returned, alone. She appeared in the chest-deep waters near the bank of the lake. Come into my world, come into my world. It's cool, weightless, share your inhibitions. The next moment he found himself in the lake, entwined in her arms. It was heavenly. Days and months passed by and he would sneak out every day to meet this magical creature. This... <laughs> he didn't even know her name. What's your name? What? Do you wish to marry me? <laughs> Only then could I reveal my name. Yes, but Tamburati would kill me. Oh well, then kill her first. <laughs> what? How? I'm an eternal being and I could give you eternal life. You don't need her. This, she said, pulling out an ornate flask. This is all you need. One drop once a year will bless you with longevity. Three drops will give her instant death. The queen hiding behind a tree had witnessed enough. Kashindi uncle! Tumbled into his stinking tent. What is it, my child? The nymph, my king, eternal life, wants to kill me. She blabbered incoherently, but Kashindi understood it all too well. She's indestructible. But how do you want to kill him? Kill him? I... I want him to live. Live with me forever. Happy birthday to you. A spoonful of yummy paisam. No, no, please, I don't want to live anymore. I want to die. Now, how could you be so cruel? That was just one mistake. Just one. I didn't even try to kill you. Revenge for 308 years isn't enough. Come, come now. 
My hands shake a lot these days. I don't know if I put one drop or three. Who knows? If you're lucky, this may be your last birthday. <laughs> and they lived. Well, they lived ever after. You've heard about the fear of death. And then there is the fear of life. I have the power to make you laugh.